Hi everyone, my name is Johan Stocking, I am tech lead of the Things Network and in this movie I'm going to show you how to use the Things Uno. The Things Uno is a Arduino development board uh, that features a microchip LoRaWAN module and an onboard PCB antenna. Uh, the Things Uno also has the standard pins so you can connect any Arduino shield uh, and sensors to it. So first um, open your Arduino IDE on your computer and uh, install the Things Network library. So in the Arduino IDE, go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and then search for the Things Network. So I already have the library installed, but you can easily install it here. The next step is to go to your examples, which you can find in File, Examples, the Things Network, all the way in the bottom and then click the device info example. And this example is basically showing the information about your device that you need in order to register it in the Things Network. So the next thing you need to do is replace the frequency plan uh, with uh, the frequency plan of your node. So this particular model is an EU868 model, so I copy this here, and then uh, click the upload button right here but first of course you need to connect the you know to your computer so plug in the micro USB the light will start blinking and then check that in tools uh, the board is uh, Arduino Leonardo and the port is also set to Arduino Leonardo then click the upload button and it will compile the sketch, upload it, and once it's done, uh, you can open the serial monitor, which is this button in the top right. And now every 10 seconds, uh, you will get the device information. And the most important thing here is the EUI, because this is the unique serial number of your, EUI, of your device, uh, and you need this to register your device in the Things Network. So copy the EUI, uh, go to the Things Network console, uh, and in your application go to Devices and click Register Device. Uh, here you need to enter your device ID, and this is an ID that you can just you can just name your device like demo. Uh, this is the EUI that comes from your device, uh, and we will leave the app key to be generated automatically. Uh, click register and now you have registered your device in the Things Network. The next step is to activate your device on the Things Network and for this we also have an example. So go to your Arduino IDE again, uh, click File, Examples, the Things Network and then send OTAA. And this example is sending just one byte of data using over-the-air activation. In this example, you need to enter your app UI and your app key. Uh, and these two values come from the Things Network console. If you're here in the console, you can see your app UI and your app key. And to make it very easy for you, we also uh, have the Arduino code all the way in the bottom that you can copy paste to the Arduino IDE. So select the example code, copy, go to Arduino and paste it here. And then again, uh, replace the frequency plan with your frequency plan. Um, verify that your board and port are correct, and then click Upload. And once it's uploaded, you can open the serial monitor again. And then you'll see it will try to join the network. So it sets all the channels um, and then here it uh, sends the join request and the network accepted to join. Now if you go to the Things Network console and scroll a bit up, you'll see here that your uh, device uh, is active and it has been sending data. To see your data you can click the data tab in the console um, and here you see the live data coming in from your device. So you see the activation, 
uh, and it has been sending three times one byte so far.